All right, when you get your bumper, if you get an auto mode bumper, what you want to do is you want to get it in the sun for at least a couple hours. So if there's any air pockets, which I found a couple on it right here, and I already popped them. You get, you'll see a little bubble in there. You see that? If you push down on it. It's a little tiny little air pocket right there. There's two of them. So all you got to do is uh, pop them out. You can use a screwdriver or whatever needle whatever and then you're gonna add a little bit of filler in there or you can use uh, some glazing putty but yeah that's how you find the imperfections or any little air pockets in your bumper uh, the whole bumper that's pretty much the only one that I found there's still probably little pinholes and little little other imperfections that you can find that need filling though and always you gotta sand down the seam line and sometimes you find uh, imperfections there sometimes you find imperfections on the edge and so yeah make sure you guys do that when you get an auto mold part all right so I took a little pick and I went over the edges to look for any air pockets everything looked good except for right here there's a nice little air pocket that I, I had to scrape it out a little bit to get it completely out right there so that's going to need some body filler. See it right there. The little air pocket right there. And there's a couple other little little tiny pinhole right there. Where it got caught in the edge right there. So all this needs to be filled up a little bit. And again, this little one right here. Little air pocket. Go and scrape it out as much as you can. that's about it for there but I'm gonna sand this whole bumper down and make sure I find all the imperfections first all right just got this thing sanded with 180 grit locked it uh, only a couple imperfections the pinholes there a little imperfection there uh, this edge it's got a few little pinholes and little craters that I gotta just add some filler there on the edge that's for the seam is and one little one little crater there that's from where the seam line was and a couple of little spots here and that's about it uh, a couple little spots in here but this is on the inside you don't really have to fix this up in here this I would because it's on the scanner um, but yeah I'm probably gonna fill that in but you don't have to you're not gonna see that side it's reinforcement uh, I did cut out a notch here for the spring the hood spring kind of hit so I cut that notch out for the guy uh, yeah so I'm gonna get some filler on it and get it ready all right, guys here's the finished result I got all the imperfections filled in with some body filler 3m platinum plus is what I use all the little imperfections, all the little pinholes, all the little craters, all the little bubbles popped. Baked it in the sun, made sure all the bubbles were gone. Check the corners. Even even uh, filled this imperfections on the back side. You won't see it on the car, but I did it anyways. Just makes it look better. Not too many imperfections. So, next we're going to put it in the booth and primer it up with some 2K polyurethane primer. Alright, one more thing uh, right before I primer it. I'm going to wax and tar remover one more time, get it nice and clean. Now we're going to put it in the booth and primer it.